I am a big fan of giving you exactly what you came for right out of the get-go, exactly what you clicked on the video for. So this right here is a fully built and ready to deploy chatbot that you can run locally on your computer or even deploy to a website and use the API to monetize it in some fashion if you so choose. To accomplish this, we need four prerequisites. Each one of these links can be found in the description below. First, we need an IDE. This stands for an integrated development environment. This is going to be really the housing where we construct our bot. This right here is link number one down below. This is the IDE or the development environment that I choose to use. It's completely free and this is Visual Studio Code. So click on the link or follow the link and you can choose your operating system and download the one that's appropriate for you. Next, we need the actual language. Now, we're not gonna be writing a ton of code, but our computer system still needs to be able to read and interpret the code that we upload to our IDE. For that, we're going to need to download Python. That's in link number two down in the description below. You're going to go right to it, hover over downloads, and click on download the latest version. Easy enough. Third, we need all the code that we're actually going to use to run our bot. I've already constructed all of that for you in link number three. This is the Dropbox file. You will open the link to this right here. You can hover over save a copy and then just choose download. Go ahead and download that. This is the Hustle ChatGPT bot tutorial and there should be three files inside of this Dropbox. Fourth, and lastly, we're going to need an OpenAI API key. You can find this right here in link number four. Once you're here, go ahead and log in, sign in, or sign up if for some reason you don't have an OpenAI account yet. It's completely free as well. Every step in this tutorial is at no cost. You're going to hover over your name tag on the top right, and then click on View API Keys. Now remember, when you create a new secret key, the only time you're going to be able to view that key is when you're actually creating it. So real quick, save that to a notepad, but we're going to click on create new key. We're just going to name this chatbot and then we are going to create secret key. So it gives us the key here. I'm going to copy it and just throw it in a notepad for later use because we are going to need that. And that's it. We are ready to actually build and deploy our chatbot. So go ahead and open up VS Code in your computer. You will get a screen that looks like this. We're gonna go ahead and click on where it says open folder. And then the folder that we just downloaded from Dropbox, this right here, we're gonna go ahead and select that to open it. You'll know this worked if you have all three folders. There should be the starter, conversational, and web assistant. Now yours on the starter will actually look a bit different. You'll have the four hashtags right here. And the first thing we're actually gonna do is plug in our API key in all three of these. That's just gonna get us ready to go. So we're gonna take our API key and make sure you leave the quotation marks there. We're gonna plug it into the starter. We're gonna plug it into the conversational and we're gonna plug it into the web assistant. Of course, making sure that we leave the quotation marks just like that, easy enough. Go ahead and go back to the first file. This is the hustle bot starter. You may have noticed that there is three files in this and that is because each one is actually its own chat bot. This starter bot, these four lines of code are all we need to start running our chat bot and all we needed to edit in this code was our OpenAI API key. Now I did three of these just to kind of ease you into an understanding around building your own chat bot. So starting with this one right here, we are importing OpenAI and what that means is we are are telling our environment to import a package we're then specifying what package we want to import and that is OpenAI these two words gives us access to OpenAI's API or basically you can think of this as all of their assets or parameters rather we're importing all of the parameters that ChatGPT would use 
just into our own system. Our API key, of course, is here, self-explanatory. That's what uh, lets OpenAI know who's calling the function. And then we have our completion parameter, which basically says we want to, we want to give this content as an input, and completion means that we have printed the output or printed our output message. So this is actually all ready to go as long as we have our API key in here. All we need to do is go up to terminal and click on new terminal. It should load and you'll know it's loaded correctly if the end is the actual file that you should be in, in which case uh, it is for us. We're gonna type in pip install openai. Go ahead and hit enter, wait for a minute. You'll see that I already have it because it says requirement already satisfied. If that does not work and you error out, you can also try pip3 install openai. Uh, go ahead and let it load. Once again, you can see it confirms that we are already ready to go. Now we can actually go up and I'll hit the play button to run this Python file. It should execute this line of code here and we can see that it will start running. Now it will take a brief moment, but it should spit out our message upon completion. And you can see here it is right here. Uh, number one, natural language processing based writing app. Number two, a personalized product recommendation engine. Or number three, an AI powered chatbot for customer support. Now, mind you, all three of these things are things that we could build right now. And once we get to step three, I'm gonna show you exactly how to deploy this onto a live environment. Let's go ahead and open up the second file. This is the hustlebotconversational.py. If you're wondering, the .py just stands for a Python file. You can see this one looks a lot like the last one, but there is more than four lines of code because this is more complicated. This is an actual conversational bot where you can give intention and receive an intended output. Let's go ahead and clear out our terminal. We're gonna go over to the far right click on the three little dots and just click on clear terminal now we're gonna go up and make sure that our API key is plugged in we're actually going to press play you'll notice this time you actually get a question what type of chatbot would you like to create let's just say uh, a financial advisor and planner and then we'll hit enter and it says your new assistant is ready now we can actually ask it something inside of our terminal and this is all going to run locally on our computer let's just say um, name three ways to save money monthly and we'll hit enter ken we're going to give it a second and here we go we have number one number two and number three create a budget and stick to it reduce your utility bills and carpool or use public transformation again this is all just really quick in real time to show you how this works and we could say uh, you know I'd like to ask a different question or let's actually just say uh, elaborate on how to create a budget and we'll go ahead and give this a second to think. Much like ChatGPT, it takes a second to think, but we will get there. Uh, elaborate on how to create a budget and we'll see what it spits out. And here we go, it seems to have given us six more steps. Uh, track your income, categorize expenses, set realistic goals, so on and so forth. But you can see, based off of what we did on our first chatbot, this one is much more interactive and that's basically <clears throat> these additional lines that we have down here. Now we can start getting real interesting and go on to creating and deploying one in a live environment. So let's go ahead and swap over to file number three and this is the Hustlebot Web Assistant. Now we are ready for the fun part. We are ready for the chatbot that we can actually build out and deploy on a live environment. You can immediately share this with someone and uh, make them jealous of your new coding capabilities. So let's go ahead and click on the third file, the Hustlebot Web Assistant. 
You may notice right out of the gate that we have a problem. Import Gradio cannot be resolved. Missing imports. So if you'll remember in the beginning, we imported the OpenAI file, and you can see that's still line one. But you'll see line two, we now have another package. We have the Gradio package. So we're gonna go to our terminal, and let's go ahead and clear the terminal. All right, now you'll notice that we have a bunch of scrolling in our terminal. That's because we did pip install Gradio. You'll notice at the top we have import OpenAI, much like our other two, but we have something new called Gradio. This is going to actually allow us to host our chatbot. So just like we did pip install OpenAI, we're gonna do pip install Gradio, just as the same, uh, same typing as it is here, G-R-A-D-I-O, and if you get any errors, you can of course do pip3 install Gradio and let this run. You'll see that it'll run the setup and eventually it will say, done. Once Gradio is done installing, now our IDE can actually import it correctly and you'll see that our problems have been cleared. All our problems have gone away. Very easy. I actually love how straightforward this is. So you can see a couple things here. The uh, actual prompt right here. Now this is not going to be a prompt that our bot will be responding to. This is going to be our trained model. So right now the model that we're running and deploying is a financial expert that specializes in real estate investment and negotiation. And you can see down here we have title as real estate pro. So go ahead and take a second to actually tell your model what you want it to be trained on, what parameters you want it to call, and then actually give it a title. In this case, it'll be Real Estate Pro. The one thing that you'll notice is we have this 20th line. This is our launch function, and this is where it will deploy either locally or at a shareable hosted web link. So if we wanna be able to share it, we leave that as true. If we do not wanna be able to share it, we will make that false. Let's go ahead and go to the top and just click on run. You'll see that it is starting to run in the bottom here and in just a brief moment, it should spit out some very useful information. Here we go right here, running on local URL. So we can go ahead and copy this and we will open it in a new window. So we can just go ahead and open it right here. And you can see here we have our real estate pro chatbot running on a Google Chrome page. And we can say, you know, um, write a write ad copy for a real estate broker um, for a let's say write Facebook ad copy for a <clears throat> real estate broker. We can click on submit and you'll see it's taking a second to load. And here we go, we have spit out our own ad copy. Again, this is running you know, locally or it's running hosted. Now, when it comes to a shareable link, it'll be this one right here because you'll notice running on local you are, running on public URL. Now, both of these are gonna give access to the same exact web page, except this one is going to be shareable. We can also alter the real-time environment at any time by inserting a different uh, train, that's what I call it, different set of parameters by uh, editing this right here, and we can also change the title, or we can just kill it and turn it offline by changing share to false. Now we have it. We have our own chatbot running locally or hosted however we want. It's our chatbot. We can then implement that into uh, web apps, tools, or something I'm trying to do is actually mobile apps. I would love to make a recipe generator where someone can just plug in all the ingredients they have at home and ChatGPT or HustleGPT will generate a recipe for them. If AI bots, AI advancement, and really the potential of artificial intelligence seriously interests you, check out one of the two videos on your screen now, one of which being a prompt engineering course that I put together over a couple months, and the video is over two hours long. The other one is some crazy 3D animations that you can make with a simple 2D animation, or 2D image, rather. So both of those, very exciting. Honestly, the depth map video is my favorite 
favorite one I've made in a long time, so definitely check those out. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.